Hi guys, welcome back on my channel. Today we are going to create those beautiful 3D flowers. You can have a wee look. Yes, so they've got a little bit of bling from the Swarovski crystals and they made out of 3D gel. So we are not going to use the acrylic um, powder, but we will use the 3D gel to create that, which I really like because they don't smell. So I hope you re really enjoy watching this tutorial. And if you did, give me a like and subscribe to this channel. So let's start. So that's the designs uh, which we are going to create. It will be a 3D flowers but done with the 3D gel. So I have got some kind of cheap 3D gels uh, from eBay and they come in those kind of form. This one I have mixed it red and white to get the pink and then I've got the white one in here. And what I'm doing is picking it up with this spatula. So just like a very tiny amount of the gel. It looks kind of hard. But then I take it into my finger and I just roll it in a bowl. You better to put the gloves on uh, when doing it. Just because you're working with the uncure product. So I'm just doing a couple of those little bowls in here. Yay. And because it is a gel, it needs some kind of sticky surface to stick into it. So I will show you what I will do. I'm just picking up a couple of the bowls. That's enough for now. And then I had some pre-painted tips from the old color chart. They're not best, but just save the time. I'm going to use the soak of base gel and apply it on the tip. Just messy kind of way and then take a wipe and just wipe it off. So this way I've got some sticky surface to work on. So my beads are going to stick in. And then that's the tool I'm going to use. It's like a silicone tool. And I've got a tiny bit of the needle dehydrator, but you will be better off with the um, solution for um, uh, acrygel, for like a polygel, because uh, that will give you a really um, nice results as well. But because I didn't have it in the house, I will use the blue scrap, which is a needle dehydrator. So what I'm doing now is I'm picking up like a wee ball, and you can do it either with your finger and just place it and then dip in your tool into the solution and then start working on the shape. So first of all, I want to make it a pretty long. So like I'm just, it's kind of similar like you would do the 3D acrylic flowers with this different that you've got much more time to play with it. So I'm kind of creating the sharp tip and keep brushing so once i've got this shape down then i want to make it a little bit wider so i'm pressing on two sides and that's my first petal done again the longer i will play with it the nicer it will go so picking up another another ball and I just place it. Usually make sure you've got one center. It's good to do like a wee dot in there so you know where to go. So again, I'm creating those kind of wee triangle shape. Okay, once I'm happy with this shape, I can start pressing on the sides. So that's another petal done. And I'm just going to press it so I've got like a wee nice dent in here. And now we are going to place a petal here. It's best if you've got kind of same size balls, then this give you much nicer results as well. You can even flatten it 
like this. Once you feel the product kind of goes hard, just dip in your tool and the solution. So I'm kind of like brushing and making a point and then just move it on the sides. Okay, I've got nice shape almost there. And I can start pressing on the side. And make it a bit longer. Okay, just press it in the middle again. And what is great with it, it is so sticky that the gem sticks and really easy to that. So I'm just picking up the wee gem and just place it right in the middle. I think with the uh, 3D flowers, the gems just looks fantastic. Now we need to kind of give some life and more, uh, more leaves into it. So I'm placing one on the top and here going to flatten it and just do exactly the same shape so don't press too hard because that's what will happen like it will cut through it now at this stage the the work is pretty difficult because I don't want to touch the other petals so my advice will be after we finish this one just give it a cure so we are not going to damage the previous petals okay and then just flatten it up a little bit in this place pick up the gem stick it into it of course, you have to place all your gems before you cure it. So I'm going to give it a cure. It will be just like a flash cure, really, a couple seconds, because then we will do the final cure after everything is finished. And I'm needing a couple more bowls, exactly three. So I've got two, so I'm just going into the pot and I'll scoop another one. And it's great like that you can basically mix the colors so red and white give you a pink like I did it. And that's my tip ready. So now I want to place petals on this side. So this one can be pretty large one. Actually get it closer. That's it. Usually is also better if you place it a bit closer to the place you want to have it because when you're pushing you're kind of uh, pulling it away from the place you want. So what I'm doing, I'm separating this petal. I don't want it too close together. And I want it to go this direction, so. Okay, I'm start getting a shape. It's really nice um, to work with the product, like, because you've got so much time to play. So this petal is done. Now the tiny one in here.
and another one in there. So each time again if you feel the product is getting harder just dip in into the solution. I've got also wipe in here because if I've got too much solution it's quite difficult as well so you just have to have the right amount. Okay, get a nice shape and then apply gems. I love the Swarovski crystals, they always look so good. Okay, now I have to give it a cure and this is going to be a proper cure of 30 seconds for this gel. And then because we have applied the base, we also need to uh, go with the top coat around it because I also find this gel kind of leaves the marks on the top coat or on the color and I don't like those marks so I will have to go with the top coat around it. And what I'm just doing is you can see those marks here like they look pretty matte. So I'm just going to apply the top coat around it. Don't put the top coat on the petals because then they go too shiny and they look plasticish. We want those wee veins which we have created visible. So just apply the top coat around it. On the places which you cannot reach with the big brush, I suggest you use the tiny brush because that always works good. I will just manage with the big one. Okay, just check it. When you also a good tip for you guys as well, when you applying the top coat around something like drag it into one direction so the top coat looks nicer. Yeah, and that's our design finish. So I hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial. And if you did, give me a like and subscribe. So that's a wee 3D gel uh, flowers. I think they are fab for the Valentine's Day, but even like for a Christmas news or for which we over like we don't. Um, but yeah, that looks pretty nice and interesting. Thanks, guys. Bye.